This lesson is how to pronounce the alphabet with dhamma. Objectives. Objectives. We will learn how Hamza and the letters of the alphabet are pronounced with the short vowel dhamma. The sound of dhamma. So here we see the actual symbol used for dhamma. So it's a round loop with um, a short line going down. Looks a little bit like a wow. And this will be written above the alphabet letter. The dhamma gives an oo sound. And when you say oo, you effectively make a small circle with the lips. The oo sound equivalent in English, you could take the oo from the word cool. So if you say cool, you should see your lips make a circle. So it's the oo in cool, that sort of oo sound. Make sure you don't make it an o sound, it's oo, oo. So we see some examples. This is the letter Jim with the dhamma on top of it. And it's one of the light letters, i.e. tarqiq and it gives the sound ju. We'll have a look at some of the heavy letters or the tafkhim letters. So this is the letter kha with a dhamma gives the sound of khu khu and with the letter sad gives the sound of su. So this is a very full mouth so you're creating pressure in the mouth with your tongue making your mouth nice and round i.e. your lips are almost round so it's su su so again the three sounds ju hu su and that's all of those with the sign of dhamma which is a short vowel so we'll go through the heavy letters again seven of the Arabic alphabets are known as the heavy letters which give heavy sounds i.e. their tafkhim with dhamma they have the u sound as expected and here's the seven tafkhim letters or heavy sounding letters so we'll go through these so the first one is khu ru su du so again the dhad is putting the left side of your tongue up on the top left upper teeth and applying pressure and then saying du. Then we have tu, tu and then we have lu, lu. So again with the dha you put the tip of your tongue between your upper and lower front teeth so just sticking out of your front teeth a little bit not outside your actual mouth but in between your two front teeth upper and lower so it's vu and then we have qu so the qaf with dhamma gives the qu sound again block your throat and then let the air out so it's qu so go through those one more time khu, Ru, su, du, tu, vu, u. The letter ra with the dhamma. The letter ra with dhamma behaves as a heavy letter. Make sure you do a full mouth while saying the letter ra with dhamma. So remember the ra can sometimes be tarqiq and sometimes be tafkhim, i.e. sometimes light and sometimes heavy. With the dhamma it's generally heavy. So here we have ru, ru, ru. The length of the dhamma sound when we make the sound with dhamma we must make sure the sound is one length long so be sure not to make the sound two lengths long again what we mean by that is you should be saying oo not oo so with the letter jim you would say ju not ju and you have to be very careful with the lengths not to over lengthen them 
Now we'll look at the alphabet and we'll start with the Hamza sitting on top of the Alif. So this will give the sound OO. OO. Next is BOO. TOO. THU. JU. Who? So this is the ha with the forceful exhaling of air which comes from the throat. Who? So the middle of the throat. Who? Slight grinding of the throat there. Who? Then we have do. 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 Thu. Ru. So that again is the heavy full mouth ru zu su shu come on to the four tafkhim letters the heavy sounding letters su du bu du ru ru so we must get the difference between the qaf and the kaf. So it'll be qu and ku. One's qaf, which is you're blocking the throat and letting the sound out, and it's a heavy letter. And then we have the kaf, which is nice and light. So qu and ku. Lu, mu. Nu, wu, and remember with the wow, it's around lips, just the outer left and right side of your lips touching. So make a circle with your lips and then say wu, hu, which is the light ha coming from the bottom of the throat. So nice and soft, hu, u again hamza, u, and u. Now we'll have a look at a comparison between the heavy and the light letters, i.e. the tafkhim and tarqiq. On the right hand side we have some light letters to compare against the left hand side which are the heavy tafkhim letters. So we have tu, bu, remember with the bu we do the full mouth. Then we have ku and qu. Do and bu. Remember with the bod again, putting pressure with the left side of your tongue on the upper left teeth. So bu, thu, and vu. So thu. So the dal is nice and soft. Thu, and then we have the vo, which is full mouth. Vu. Su, and su. Again, the tafkeen version is nice and round mouth, su, putting pressure of the tongue up on the roof of the mouth. Again, it's emphatic. Khu and ru, ru. Conclusion. Now you should know how to pronounce the Arabic alphabet letters with the short vowel sound of dhamma.